Hello and uh, welcome to Market Fresh. So this is our weekly uh, weekend cooking session. Cooking session. Okay. Uh, we are we are learning to make hedgehog today. So with us today uh, again we have Michelle. Hello, hello Michelle. How are you? Everyone. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. So Michelle, can you tell us about what we are doing today? Okay. We are doing uh, hedgehog today. It's mm. a very traditional, I would say, Hokkien or Teochew dish. So we are doing a uh, Teochew style hecho. Yes. Teochew correct. style. Okay. Okay. Can. So can we uh, walk through the ingredients? Uh, today our ingredient we have a uh, minced pork. Okay. Right? Minced pork is about hundred and fifty gram of minced pork. Okay. Yeah, and then we have some uh prawn, the shell mm -hmm. prawn, uh, about uh two hundred gram. Okay. Can. So the prawn has to be slightly more. Okay. Ah, uh, because the the main dish here today, uh, the start of the dish is actually the prawn. Okay, the prawns. Yeah. Just uh, request for swallow, I think they will know. Okay. So this is one of the more crispy uh, prawn, okay. uh, even after cooking. Okay, yeah. very good. So that's why it's a very good uh, prawn for making your head soap. Okay, hello Janice, hello Sherilyn. Yeah. Okay. So the other ingredients we have mm -hmm. will be uh, chopped onions. Chopped onions. So about a half, half a chopped onion. We are also using uh, water chestnut. Water chestnut, Marty. Okay, yes. this, one, this one is the crunchiness one. Yeah, so this is the original one. So okay. you have to wash it, clean it. Before, before and after. This is the after. And next very important ingredient eh? is... The, Julie, Julie's biscuit. Yes, this is the Ritz biscuit. Oh, Ritz one. Okay, Ritz yeah. one. Or okay. you can even use sotapia. Sotapia also can. Okay. okay. So uh, I don't see anybody adding this ingredient in their head though. Yeah, this, yeah. This, this is not a common hedge ingredient, right? Yes. Oh, uh, this is the secret, ah, uh, guys. Secret, yeah. secret. Okay. Okay, mm. this is actually my grandma's uh, recipe. Okay. Uh, so, the reason why we add sotapia, if you cannot find sotapia, any like cream cracker biscuit is okay. Okay. Because uh, cream cracker has a very nice buttery taste. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So, we want to our hedge to taste of a buttery taste mm -hmm. without the need of adding in the butter. Mm. So, just get a plastic bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Throw everything inside and then uh, use the back of the knife. Okay. Or if you have a maybe a, a pestle, uh, hit something heavy. Okay. Yeah, and then you just smash the bit. You want your children to help, right? Maybe get a cucumber or something. Okay. <laughs> yeah, something that is hard, then easy for you to. Tibuno, so inside, yeah? Okay. So it looks like your breadcrumb. And the next ingredient is we will have an egg. So uh -huh. this egg is to bind all the ingredients together. Okay. Alright. Can. And then your bean curd skin. There's this thing called you know in Hokkien we call this the pole zhua. Ah, pole so, zhi. Yes. Pole zhi, which I think you can get it from the provision shop. Okay. Uh, in the wet market. Yeah. Yeah. Have, they do have. Okay. So yeah. this uh is the paper like a plastic sheet, mm -hmm. but then it can withstand high temperature. Okay. Steaming. So before I make uh begin making the hedge right. Mm -hmm. Uh. Let me show you something that will complement the hedgehog. Very, very easy way uh, to make the cucumber. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're just going to pick up the cucumber. and Pick up cucumber, uh, okay. Yes. And usually when you pick up anything, right, mm -hmm. you need to pick up like days in advance, right? Yeah. This one, no need. You just uh -huh. pick up like, um, before you start preparing your dishes, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you should pick up this one first. And then by dinner time, when mm -hmm. you're ready to serve this pickled cucumber, it's also ready. Most of the call center call, mm -hmm. we don't want because this is the part that will give you a lot of water. Mm -hmm. So what we do is uh, slice it diagonally. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. So I'm not sure if any of you all have uh, you know, made this before uh, mm -hmm. at home. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But if you have, please uh, comment. Let us know how do you usually prepare your uh, pickled cucumber. Mm -hmm. Plastic so, bag. I was actually surprised, you know, hey, how come my friend's mom used plastic bag? But I think it's a very smart way. Mm -hmm. Because after that, right, uh, you can throw away um, after you uh, before you serve the head so Okay. I'll show you later uh, why are we using this uh, plastic bag, okay? Okay. And then if you like some... Uh, uh, spiciness, mm -hmm. uh, just cut some small chili. Okay. Yeah, not a lot, yeah, just a little bit. Mm. Alright, and the next thing we're gonna use uh, rice vinegar. Okay, rice vinegar. vinegar. Okay. Mm. So, pour some hey, this is, so, this is immediately used, one. Uh. We don't have to uh pick up for one, two days in advance. No. So, so just do immediately can use. Minutes or oh, minutes like that, okay. Yeah? Okay. So just pour in a little bit. So it's aga aga wana. Aga aga wana. We put a little bit of sugar. Okay. Yeah. I think this one is um a very traditional dish. I think a nyonya or very Hokkien dish. I think mm. most Hokkien family 
So, and then what you do is give it a good shake. Okay. Yeah? To make sure that all your, you know, um, cucumber are all well mixed with your vinegar. Yeah? Put inside the fridge uh, okay. so that it maintains the crunchiness. So later when your, when your, uh, head chop is mm -hmm. ready, then your pickled cucumber will also be ready. So we're just going to, uh, uh, chop up the prawn. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, no need to mince until very mince. Uh, just uh, okay. So so we are not using a blender lah. No. So it's all cut one uh. Correct. Okay. Because we want to taste the prawn. Mm -hmm. and eat the head chop. I think need the ASMR mic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the seasoning that we will have is uh. Some sesame oil. Sesame oil, okay. okay. About one tablespoon of sesame oil. And then soya sauce, about okay. uh, two tablespoons. Okay. Yeah. Some white pepper. White pepper. Yeah. And then we want some hotel juice. Hotel juice, okay. This yeah. one we use every week. Huh? Every week we use like, <laughs> it's our favorite. It's about, our secret favorite about, ingredient. Uh, two, two tablespoons of hotel juice. Okay. Yeah. So we're just going to uh, mix it up. Uh, add in the onions and then mix it together. Okay, onions. Yep. But we don't throw in the, the uh, water chestnut. chestnut first. Mm. We do it last. So now uh, we can add in the water chestnut. Okay, water yeah. chestnut last. So no, the second last. So the water chestnut, uh, mm -hmm. not mince, yeah. Mm -hmm. We just want to uh, chop it up mincely. Like how okay. you chop your onion. Okay. Chop ah, uh, chop up, not dice ah, uh, guys. Chop ah. Uh. Yeah. This is still quite big portions there. Yeah, see, okay. you can still see. Your... I can already tell it's gonna be crispy. Okay, and then add in the egg. Okay. The egg is actually to bind in the whole. Okay, uh, so the egg is the glue ah. Uh. Yeah. The egg is the glue. And because once you add in the egg already, right? Mm -hmm. Um, the mixture becomes like a uh, very wet. Mm. Yeah. So um, we will add in. Uh, the breadcrumbs also. Okay, breadcrumbs. Not breadcrumbs, oh, no, cookie, cookie crumb. Okay, Sikon, this is the secret, uh, special ingredient. Uh, nobody else have one. Our head so got the cookie crumbs one. When when you add in the egg, maybe my egg is too big. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You can still see that the mixture is like very wet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to add here is uh, some corn flour. So now you can see that the, con uh, the, the, the um, consistency mm -hmm. is just right. It's like sticky. Mm -hmm. ah, that's the consistency that we want. Okay, perfect okay. consistency. This is the okay. one, uh, guys. And I'll show you how to wrap. Uh, this is the bean curd sheet that mm. usually you can buy from the wet market. Lah. And then we need some uh, egg mixture. Okay. That is to seal up uh, the hair jaw. Traditional hair jaw, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what we do is uh, we will uh, steam first mm -hmm. because we want to cook the meat. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you see, the meat, uh, we're going to roll so much meat into one hejo. Okay, so uh, if you're just going to fry it directly, right, mm -hmm. then you're going to burn your hejo skin, the bean curd skin. Okay, then inside haven't cooked yet, yeah, but outside all burned. Yeah, inside haven't cooked. Okay. So uh, one way is to steam it first, mm -hmm. then until the meat is cooked. Okay? Ah. Then once the meat is cooked, then uh, you can let it cool down. Okay. Otherwise, um, the meat... Uh, still has not set mm. so we want the meat to uh, set inside first okay yeah then after that once the meat has uh, cooled down uh, you can cut it and then you can fry it okay so we wrap it so when you're wrapping your head so right uh -huh. you must make sure that you wrap it tight tight right? okay yeah okay so maybe go two round okay then once you're done uh, okay cut it Okay. So you don't pre-cut your skin first because you wouldn't know, you know, how big or how small you okay. are making your hair so. And then after that, uh, use some uh, egg okay. uh, to seal up the bean curd skin because okay. the bean curd skin is dry. Okay. So it's either you need some cornstarch water mm -hmm. or you can use egg to okay. seal up the skin. So we're going to steam this. Okay. Yeah. And um, this is the... Steam Okay, already steam one. Yeah. Okay. So this is the already steam one hejo. Okay. Yeah. So uh steaming wise we need about um maybe say twenty minutes. Make sure All that right. the oil is hot, yeah. So what I'm gonna do while waiting for the oil uh to heat up, right? Mm -hmm. Uh I'm gonna dip my hejo in the oil. 
the corn flour first. Okay. But before you throw in your head so make sure you lower your flame. Okay. Okay, so the purpose of lowering the flame is because um, beancurd skin is very thin. Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, I don't want the beancurd skin, right? Um, to burn. So you see, very fast, uh, some already turn brown. Okay. Yeah. So imagine if you are uh, going to put on high heat. So. Oh, so okay, nice. So usually, uh, you have to pick up pieces by pieces, lah. So I go see, uh, which are the ones that are already done. So the teaspoon, right, it has been soaked in the vinegar mm -hmm. for a while already. So the reason why we put it in plastic bag mm -hmm. is because we will throw away the uh -huh. water. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't so, want the water. Okay, so the, the rice if vinegar. You, if you have it in a plastic bag, right, mm. you just cut the hole here. Ah, la, that is oh, so that convenient. Is right. <laughs> so convenient. It was my friend's mother who teach me. And then drain away the water. Ah. And when you have it in a plastic bag, right, uh -huh. you can squeeze it drier. Uh, we thank you again. Thank you very much, Michelle. We will see you. So next week again, we remind everybody what we are doing next week. Okay, next week, right? We will have uh, we have low hay. Yeah, yeah. Have low, low hay. hay okay, yeah. homemade low hay. Uh. Yes. Homemade yeah. recent and. and So okay, everybody, uh, we're at the end of the cooking show today. Okay, bye. I'll see y'all next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>